Michaela, we have you on for a number of reasons, one of which we'll get to in a second. A really big thing coming up for you this summer. But you've been a part of this experience showcase now in ice hockey for a couple of years. What has it meant to you in your development as a player? Ice has been awesome. Um, Dino started it three years ago, part of uh, for the 06 group. Um, my age group kind of missed out a lot on U16, like Team Alberta kind of stuff because of COVID. So this was a really awesome opportunity to get out with the best players in Alberta. And um, every year it's something I look forward to for sure. You've had the opportunity to play with some of the best players in Alberta, taking part in the Winter Games last year as well. What was that experience like for you? So cool. One of the best experiences I've ever been a part of and really, really lucky. Um, there was a four of us that play eyes that were on that team, so that was pretty awesome. I got knew some girls, and I think um, I know these development weekends definitely helped prepare us for that as well. Well, you're going to be heading out east again next month for the uh, Hockey Canada Women's U18 Development Camp. Only two girls in Alberta. One of them was an ICE member as well. Uh, trying out for that uh, amongst uh, the defensemen. Uh, what is this experience going to be like for you, and how excited are you looking forward to that? Really, really excited. Um, it's a super cool opportunity. I know there's lots of girls across Canada who would die for this opportunity, so I'm really excited. There is um, actually two of us. Uh, the other girl played eyes as well, so um, it'll be nice to know somebody. Um, but, yeah, we're both looking forward to it. Now, one last question for you, Mikhail. I guess in all that experience, you and I were talking off the air a little bit about how much work goes into training for hockey, playing hockey. Um, what are some of the key components for you that have helped you become a great player, not only for the on-ice, but the off-ice stuff as well? Yeah, I think just surrounding yourself with people that um, understand your goals or have similar goals as you. I've been really lucky to have a really awesome support group, so um, they've all been helping me, and I've been uh, able to learn from everybody, and I think just taking care of the little things, like drinking lots of water, getting sleep, and you know, having fun doing whatever. Drinking lots of water and getting sleep, one of which broadcasters do. Dave Dawson here with Michaela Watson. We will be, myself, Peter Labardius and Corey Bro, in St. Catharines, Ontario, for that Hockey Canada Women's U18 Development Camp coming up next month. Make sure you get a chance to catch Michaela, Miss Goofers, and the rest of the group there. We'll be back.